It is here, finally. Almost four months to the day from when I ordered it. And if you can't tell from the box, well, it looks like a TV to me. But this is uh, my wired Freedom bike. I'll open it up here. We'll, we'll see how it's packaged and what it looks like. But this bike here had a little bit of a history to it. it not Maybe not this particular bike, but when I ordered mine back in September, um, it was scheduled to be delivered in November. And the shipping container that came from... I believe these are made in China like all the other ones. The shipping container made it to the port in Los Angeles. It got unloaded and they hired a freight company. It was called Uber Logistics in San Francisco. And uh, Wired had contracted with them. I think Uber either hired an independent trucker to come and pick up all the bikes that were in that shipping container. And he put them in his truck and it promptly disappeared. Every bike on that shipping container was gone. They tried tracking it. They hired an investigator. They tracked it down to someplace in, uh, I think it was New Mexico. And they swore it was going to get delivered to uh, their, their um, business in Chicago. And we kept getting emails and emails about the delays. And we were very sorry, but, but it never did show up. I'm not sure how many bikes were on that, that first November delivery, but none of them came in so uh, we had to wait for the january delivery which is where this bike came from but yeah can you imagine losing i mean a, a shipping container is pretty big there's a lot of bikes on that and apparently they lost them all had to file a claim insurance claim hopefully they get some money out of it but the company was very straightforward got uh, an email from the i believe it's the president of the company and explaining what was going on and kept us updated. He even gave us $100 back for the individuals that wanted to wait or give all the money back to the people that didn't want to wait. But I was in no big hurry, so I, I took the 100 bucks from them and, and just waited an extra two months. Uh, I paid $1,950 for this bike, so I knocked 100 off of that. So this bike is $1,850. Then I had to pay shipping from Chicago to Gresham here in Oregon. That was about 250 bucks. But it finally made it here, and we're going to open it up and see what it looks like, how it's packaged. All the bands are still tight. The tape's still on it. Yeah, I just can't imagine losing a shipment of e-bikes. There's no dents or damages in the, in the box that I can see. Looks pretty decent. Lots of zip ties. We'll get those opened up and cut the box open and get this thing out. This is our third e-bike. We have two other e-bikes. I bought a Rad Rover and another rad power bike for um, my wife. But I decided to uh, upgrade on my Rad Rover and go with the Freedom Wired bike. It had a ton of great reviews, but uh, Citizen Cycle, boy, if you got any questions about what type of e-bike to buy or questions about individual ones, go to Citizen Cycle. He's, he's phenomenal on his, on his information. His videos are, are packed full of, of just everything you'd want to know about a bike. So we'll leave a link down below. But yeah, Citizen Cycle is, is the man as far as an e-bike goes. Very thick cardboard. Two layers of it. She is. I went with a uh, hunter green. Uh, the other one's black, flat black. Figured I'd go green and change it up a little bit. All in all, 
I think it dropped that pretty good. Well, here it is all put together turned out pretty nice front tire is sort of a bugger to get on I had my wife help me align the uh, the rotor into the, the the disc and getting the forks onto that the axle there but yeah good looking color I like the black and the green not a lot of signage or advertisement on this side I did have to shim the the kickstand it just it just didn't have a lot of tilt to it so I threw a little cable tie oh I loosen these screws put a cable tie on the top side just sort of kick the the kickstand more of an angle so the bike will stand up uh, stand over a little more it would tend to almost fall over if I didn't but yeah good looking bike Hopefully it'll be worth the wait. I'll do a little review on it, on the performance of it. I've got my other bike, my old Rad. I think I'll do a little comparison between this one. This is a 2019, I think it was the um, second generation. They, they kept changing them each year. They'd bring a new model out, they'd give it a new number. And I think this was Rav 2. 750 watt controller was I think a 14 amp controller and I upgraded it to the 35 amp controller but this has been a nice bike so we'll compare the two on another video and see how they they line up to each other but yeah you know, this one's uh this one might be a keeper we'll see yeah thanks for hanging out if you got any questions on it give me a, a little note down in the comments and I'll answer them for you but I will see you on the next one.